Hey guys, Coach Justin Moore back with Anton once again, and now we're going to start going over drills that people really enjoy doing um, as quote-unquote T-spine openers, but we're now going to do them with an appreciation for rib mechanics and for airflow, um, and that's going to make them far more effective than when people are cranking into their uh, T-spine openers with thorax and lumbar extension, um, and just by trying to rotate as hard as they can over and over again. So we're gonna put Anton in a position for a sideline windmill, which is a very popular rotational exercise. First thing I'm gonna have him do is exhale to tuck those ribs down in and back and keep his belt buckle tucked towards his nose so he just gets a little bit of pelvic, uh, posterior pelvic rotation. From there, I have him reaching forward to start so that we can retract the thorax and move the ribs back. And now he's going to, on his next exhale, Rotate that arm over and around his head as he turns his thorax, keeping contact with our friendly foam roller. What I'm going to cue him to do is not to worry about the range of motion. If he doesn't make it very far, that's okay. He's reaching forward with his left arm. He's reaching overhead with his right arm. And as he exhales, he's focused on feeling left abs bring his left ribs down in and back. He's gonna pause for five seconds after each exhale. Then he's going to inhale through his nose silently and he should feel a nice opening, a bit of a stretch going through that right chest wall and a little bit of activity in his right lower trap. So you can see his left hand start to come off the ground. I'm probably gonna stop him right there and have him hold. And all I want him to do now is breathe. And with each breath, he's going to bring his left ribs more down in and back He's gonna make sure he's not losing complete control over his right ribs. He's reaching forward with his left arm and he's feeling right low trap and right rib cage expansion. But he's making sure that he always has a little bit of left abs as he's bringing those left ribs down in and back. Anton, do you have all of those things right now? Excellent, and then we're just gonna hold here for five breaths. And once we're done, I'm just gonna have him return to the starting position and we might do that a couple times each side, but we're not just repeatedly rounding that shoulder and uh, rotating that spine over and over and over again for high reps without any cognizance of airflow or his rib cage position. Doing this will involve far fewer reps, but far greater bang for your buck because he's actually managing the thing that was keeping him from be able, being able to rotate his trunk in the first place.